Over the years, Rosie O'Donnell has owned more than a dozen homes from Connecticut to New York City and even in the state of Florida. While all of those investments didn't work out for her, she has lived in some stunning properties, surprisingly none of which were in Los Angeles. Records show the comedian finally snagged her first ever estate in the Golden State earlier this month for $4.6 million, and it's a lavish property south of Beverly Hills. Built in 2019, the home has a trendy modern farmhouse feel, offering up over 4,000 square feet of space. In this video, we're going to check out Rosie's new crib, as well as a couple of her former homes that she sold. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Rosie O'Donnell is a comedian, producer, actress, TV personality, and more who began her comedy career as a teen, receiving her breakthrough on the show Star Search in 1984. Finally, she gained enough recognition to host her own award-winning daytime talk show, The Rosie O'Donnell. Donald Show from 1996 to 2002. Despite her long career in showbiz, it doesn't appear Rosie has yet owned a home in California. And while many celebrities have fled Hollywood the past year, she surprisingly splurged on her first mansion here. The big move comes a few months after Rosie let go of her longtime New Jersey mansion, which is said to be demolished, and replaced with affordable housing units in the near future. While Rosie may be more low key these days, she's still acting and trusts that she has a massive fortune worth about $120 million. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, and today we're checking out where Rosie O'Donnell calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat. Now let's get into this video. Just recently in December 2021, it was reported that Rosie snagged her very first West Coast property. The actress has long preferred the East Coast, which isn't surprising given the fact that she's a New York native. Her new home is quite a treat, located in the family-friendly neighborhood of Beverly Wood, just south of Beverly Hills in Los Angeles, and it was built in 2019 by a local developer. The mini mansion is essentially brand new since the home was flipped to Rosie by a couple who bought it for $3.3 million and sold it to her for $4.6 million. It seems that Rosie really wanted the home as she paid the full asking price for it. The large two-level home spans 4,112 square feet and at that size could qualify as a mansion. There are five bedrooms and six bathrooms throughout, while the design is trendy and on point, resembling a modern farmhouse style. Her home's exterior is two-toned, with redwood on top and charcoal paint on the bottom level, which I think is pretty sleek. All of the bedrooms have en suites for convenience, while the modern two-car garage offers a Tesla car charger, and of course the house has a top-of-the-line and security system too, complete with all of the bells and whistles. Pulling up to Rosie's new digs, you can see a grassy lawn with other greenery, such as an olive tree, and there's also a partly shaded front porch. Doors open right up to the main living area, which is airy and spacious, and we can see the custom finishes, like honey-colored hardwood flooring and 10-foot ceiling. The living room is first, which has plush furniture and a fireplace, while directly behind it is the formal dining room with wine closet and brass chandelier. The guest bath the bathroom here is decked out in a bold black color mixed with some wooden accents, while also on the main level and at the back of Rosie's house, you'll find the kitchen. The chef's kitchen has all you could ever need, including two sinks, top of the line appliances, and a large waterfall style island. Some bonuses here include a walk in pantry and a casual sunny dining area. Her kitchen space is open to the laid back family room, which has a total California vibe, thanks to the walls of glass seamlessly opening the room to the patio. Now let's take a look upstairs. Here, Rosie's luxurious master bedroom boasts vaulted ceilings, a warm fireplace, and double closet, while her decadent bathroom includes both a soaking tub as well as a separate massive rainfall style shower. One thing that Rosie is missing at her contemporary property is definitely a pool. I'll let it slide because it is after all her first purchase in the sunny city, but you'd think with a multi-million dollar home like this one, a swimming pool would be kind of a given. Either way, out back the modest size yard is nicely landscaped with a patio, tall hedges for privacy, and add-ons like a fire pit and barbecue center with bar. At least according to listing materials, permits 
Edmonton plans for a pool have been pre-approved. So we'll leave that one up to Rosie. Despite her relocation to LA, we know Rosie couldn't let New York go that easily and she still owns her main residence, an $8 million triplex penthouse in the heart of New York City she bought in 2017. So let's take a look. Located in the 33 story Sterling Plaza building in the Midtown East area of Manhattan, New York, Rosie's triplex penthouse spans 3,600 square feet of space with four beds and three baths throughout. Her expansive apartment was removed modeled in a sleek fashion and it came with a huge rooftop terrace. The entryway here is quite small but once you pass it, the condo opens right up into the combined living and dining area which boasts floor to ceiling windows and amazing city views. The light filled living room boasts wide plank hardwood flooring, a black granite wood burning fireplace and a wet bar with onyx countertop. The dining space is set into a sunny corner with a greenhouse window and the nearby kitchen has yet another casual eating area. The 33 foot long kitchen is to the left of the main living room and full of posh add-ons like a 70 bottle wine fridge, an espresso and coffee machine and a six person snack bar. There are also imported Italian cabinets, snow white countertops and designer appliances. Just off of the kitchen, there's a guest or staff suite with bed and bath, while Rosie's master bedroom is near the front door. The owner's suite comes with custom closets, amazing views and a luxurious master bathroom with a walk-in steam shower, freestanding tub, heated floors, and a floating marble vanity set into a wall of windows. The sleek and no doubt pricey bathroom also has a TV set into a glass wall. Moving through the triplex, a sculptural staircase leads to the lower level where you'll find two guest bedrooms, one which has a glass railed balcony that would no doubt scare anyone who leans over the edge. There's also a white marble bathroom and a two person Swedish sauna. The lower floor also has a separate entrance within the building. One might say the highlight of Rosie's New York City crib is her 1,600 square foot rooftop terrace that comes with a built in sound system, lounging areas, outdoor kitchen and bar, as well as views of the Empire State and Chrysler buildings, and even of the East River. For years, Rosie couldn't find a buyer for her massive five acre mansion located in Saddle River, New Jersey, but in April 2021, it was reported she finally sold it at a loss. Back in 2013, the comedian purchased the English Country Manor for $6. $6.36 million, but these days a developer bought it for a reported $5.3 million. A $1 million loss for Rosie. Inside the mansion offered six beds and nine baths, over 9,000 square feet of space. There's a classic turreted entryway, along with a foyer with curved staircase and formal living and dining areas. The kitchen here had double islands and open to a glassed in breakfast nook, while elsewhere at the property there was a basketball court and an elevator. Not to mention the custom master suite boasted a sitting room, a huge walk-in closet, and an ensuite bath. The estate was fully gated for privacy and was full of luxe amenities, like a family room with a pub-style bar, a screening room, and a separate guest house with all the fixing. Despite how nice the home was, it seems the colonial estate is expected to be torn down by the developer who bought it and replaced with a series of affordable housing units. However, the upscale residents are not too pleased with the new. The posh neighborhood of Saddle River is home to about 3,000 residents and a handful of big names, including music producer Russell Simmons, to musicians Ja Rule and Mary J. Blige, just to name a few. If Rosie's former estate is demolished for affordable housing, they'll also be tearing down the gorgeous backyard. The grounds of this mansion sported a swimming pool with grotto waterfall, plunge pool and spa, while elsewhere there was an artist studio and more. A natural gas generator on the property conveniently powered the entire estate. The mansion sale is just one of the many estates that Rosie has been shuffling over the last few years. In 2017, she placed her Hudson River compound on the market, consisting of five properties she snagged from 2001 to 2008, located about 40 minutes from Manhattan for a total of $8.6 million. The last Hudson River home was sold in May 2021 after three and a half years on the market at a loss of almost a million. This home was originally built in 1918 and decked out in denim blue shingles situated right on the river with a 100 foot private dock. The home had been super updated to reflect a contemporary style, including a combination living space with 12 foot high mahogany coffered ceilings, a wood burning fireplace and skylight top lounge. 
There were also full walls of windows offering up views across the Hudson River. But despite all the luxury features, still only sold for $1.3 million. Alright, so now we've taken a look at some of Rosie O'Donnell's extensive real estate portfolio, so I think we'll wrap this house tour up. The star has also owned other properties over the years, but this gives you a pretty good idea. It seems that Rosie decided to trade in her East Coast country lifestyle for the city after selling her Hudson River compound and instead buying her Manhattan triplex penthouse. And even more recently, Rosie has just bought her very first Los Angeles abode in the form of a modern farmhouse estate near Beverly Hills. After checking out a few of her properties, which was your favorite? Be sure to let me know which of Rosie's homes you'd most like to live in in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!